So I have a new file started here. Uh, I named it uh, 2.6 and it's not too difficult. There is a circle with a radius of 7 which means from the center to the circle is 7 inches. And then we need to draw a polygon in the middle that has an apothem of 3 inches which is the distance from the center to one of the sides and this is a regular polygon. A regular polygon is one where every side is the same length and so in this case the apothem is 3 inches. And then we just have some lines to put in. So let's just go ahead and get started here. C for circle. I'm going to go ahead and before I drag out I'm going to type in C for circle and before doing anything, before clicking, down in the lower right corner it tells me 24 sides and I'm just going to type in 50 and hit enter. It's not a big deal, but uh, I like to do that because it just makes smoother circles. In my opinion, it just looks better. So I'll type in a radius of 7 and we're on our way. So M for the move tool, I'll click on this and kind of snug it over just a little bit so that we can see what's going on and then I'll press shift Z to do a zoom extents and I'll go ahead and minimize those panels over on the right. So let's see let's find the center next so I'll click on the circle and find the center so there it is there and now let's see where's my polygon tool well it's with my circles which makes sense because circles and polygons are the same thing so I'll go ahead and click and now when I look down in the lower right corner of my measurements dialog box it says there's six sides and I need a pentagon so without clicking anywhere before doing anything I just type in five and hit enter and my cursor changes and tells me that I am now making a polygon so I'll just click right there in the center and as you'll see there it is measuring the radius of the polygon that is one that is uh, circumscribed inside a circle and so what I need to do is change that so that we have the apothem so I just tap my option key and then I come around and while it's along the green axis I just go ahead and type in 3 and hit enter and we're done. Notice I did not click but if I wanted to click I could do that so I'm just going to undo that work and we'll come back in here and there we have our apothem and I can just click anywhere and then I go hey that doesn't look right uh, but what I can do is just go ahead and before clicking anywhere else I could change my mind because SketchUp's always trying to read your mind just type in three hit enter and it resizes it for me so you don't always need to undo your work so let's see here so now we just need to make some lines so I'm gonna make a line from this vertex to this vertex and then I am going to click again and see that magenta colored line that's telling you that this is an extension of the first line that I drew now it wants to snap to an endpoint so you got to make sure that when you left click that you have the magenta color if you don't you'll need to zoom in let's do another one here so from here to here and then from here coming down and see it wants to snap around so you can come in here and just kind of mouse along the edge of the circle until you get the, the magenta line to tell you that you're in good shape so I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of these lines This one here is pretty easy because it's horizontal or parallel to the right axis. There we go. And let's go ahead and fill in the rest of them. And there we go. So this lesson is all about learning to use those magenta inferences that tell you that when you're drawing your line you are drawing a line that is collinear with the other line and you might have to zoom in to do it but zooming in is not a bad thing there we go and then to finish her up we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button with the eraser 
and depending upon the speed of your computer sometimes you'll cross the line and it might not turn blue to indicate that it's selected so sometimes you kind of have to go slow but of course if you miss a line you can always come back and redo it so I'll press shift Z Oop, forgot my dimensions so let's go ahead and quickly put those in so we've got from here perpendicular down to that midpoint we'll go ahead and put in three inches and really the only other dimension we need is just the radius of the circle so you can put that in and we're all done